Hava kadava. <gülüyor>
So guys, we are back at it, back out there hunting for stuff to try and sell a trade, uh, but have a look at this weather. Don't know about the rest of you, but we've had weather like this for days and days. It's just been absolutely hammering it down. Horrible, horrible weather, uh, but we're still out. We're still out looking for stuff, so uh, let's keep going. I then stopped at the charity shops on the way home, a couple of local ones. A couple games in here, it's Lego Dimensions for the Wii U, uh, not really worth picking up. Uh, but this Forza 7 most definitely was. A uh, pound for this game, great price, uh, nice little bit of trade in there. Uh, a little look through again, but uh, it was pretty much the same games that I've been there for some time. Uh, loads of scratches on them, uh, some really cheap, no value games. I always struggle to remember which Skylanders or if there are any that need picking up. And a couple of Xbox, uh, OG Xbox games here that I found in another charity shop. This Narc looks like a bit, a bit of me. I'd definitely uh, love to have a go on that. And then I uh, did see this, didn't pick it up, but this Guitar Hero on tour for the DS. Oh, cool. And we are back in the game space and it's been an okay week. I won't lie to you guys. Um, it hasn't been the best. Um, life gets in the way. I had a bit of work thrown my way and I couldn't refuse it, so I've been busy doing that. Um, but I have managed to get out for a few little hours here and there to do a bit of hunting and hit the charity shops on my like uh, normal day-to-day -day life as and when sort of thing. So yeah, I've done a little bit of hunting, picked up a few bits and pieces, which we'll get into very shortly. I also uh, picked up a couple of games from CX. I spent the credit. Uh, I couldn't resist, probably to make up for the fact I haven't been doing much hunting. I picked up a couple of games not on the list. At the moment, CX has maybe a couple of these on, on the list in stock, but they're in like pretty bad condition, not collectors worthy uh, for me anyway. A couple of Conker's Bad Fur Days in Bad Nick, and I think the rest are just out of stock. So, yeah, to make myself feel better, if you like, or to just make up for this week, uh, I picked up a couple of games not on the list. Um, you know me, I've... I've I've sort of like a hinted or like undenied about going for a full N64 set, which I might do in the future. Uh, so I will be picking up games here and there. But yeah, whatever. Let's get into uh, this week's pickups. We spent a total of £4.50 on stuff to try and sell or trade. So we can deduct that from the game fund. Uh, now, the first thing we picked up is this uh, Harry Potter wand. Um, now, I don't think there's much value in it. I'll show you guys now. It is just like a prop. There's no, like, it doesn't do anything. It's just like a, a piece of plastic or a piece of wood. I believe it is Hermione's, Hermione's wand. When Gartrium Lefiosa. <laughs> I'm doing these impressions. When Gartrium Leviosa. When Gartrium Leviosa. Have a good <laughs> I love me some Harry Potter. Um, but yeah, Harry, uh, Hermione's wand here. Comes in this case, which is a bit faded and a bit like pirate. Uh, made in China. I don't know. Uh, when I scan it with that eBay app, uh, the only ones available are coming from, from the States. And they're up there for like 20, 30 quid. Even if I get like 5 to £10 pound for it, um, I'd be happy. But I couldn't leave it behind. Thought it was cool. I've enjoyed playing with it. Uh, so we will see. <clears throat> the next thing we picked up is this single DVD. It is this uh, Linda Blair Tab Hunter. And it is grotesque. Uh, looks proper pirated as well. Mad like um, uh, front cover there. It's one of them like B movie horrors, I think. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you know much about it. Uh, but in that charity shop, I found this. There was a ton of horrors, like obscure, different horrors, not your mainstream sort of stuff. And I did actually look them all up, and this was the only one worth picking up. CX sell it for a tenner. They give you five pound trade in. There is currently only one on uh, on sale on eBay for like thirty quid, and there's only one uh, sold listing I can see. And that sold for £1.20. Uh, so I'll probably trade this in for a fiver. Uh, not too bad from a 50p spend. The next thing we picked up is this Forza Motorsport 7 for the Xbox One. Uh, I paid a pound for this. And this trades in for a tenner. They sell it for 15 Trades in for a tenner. Not too bad at all. <clears throat> a couple of OG Xbox games here. Got Narc. Uh, all complete. In pretty decent condition. And uh, Need for Speed Underground 2. Um, I paid... 30p each for these or i give her a pound for the pair um this one trades in for a pound this one uh, trades in for like three i think uh, but there is one of the dads up the school who i know is actively collecting og xbox so i will check if he was interested in these craig if you were watching uh, let me know if you need these for your collection uh we'll sort something out uh but this one here um i've looked on ebay 
And the last one sold in like December for like 18 quid all in. So um, we will see. But yeah, Craig, let me know first. If you are watching, let me know if you're interested in these. And the last thing we picked up to try and sell is this uh, giraffe. And it is a jelly cat. There we are. I paid £1.50 for it. And uh, it sells for about £20, £25 on eBay. It's got the like beans in the feet. I've sold a few jelly cats. I have a few still listed on eBay. I, I don't really know um, which ones are the best. I know that like, the food shaped ones or the ones that are like food, they're the ones with the proper value, I believe. Um, but if it's jelly cat and it's like one, one, two pound, I'm picking it up. Uh, I should easily be able to get 15, 20 quid for it. And that is everything we picked up to try and sell or trade. I picked up one more thing for the collection, and that is this Mummies Alive DVD. Um, this show, like, I have really vague memories of it. I love the artwork on it. I think it's really cool. It is a 90s cartoon, so I'm going to pick it up. Um, yeah, very cool. Right, guys, so let's get into these N64 games. Like I said, neither of them are on the list. Um, one of them is a first part, is a Mario game. So uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> I'm hopeful <laughs> we can at least keep one of them. We will see. Oh, okay. right, here we are. A little bit of packaging. Feels nice and heavy. No, that's in good condition. And the first game is Mario Golf, and this thing looks pretty minty, to be fair. Really good condition. Hardly any damage on it. Get into the swing in the most hilarious golf simulation you have ever played. Mario Golf is the ultimate party golf game with a favourite Nintendo All-Stars. Ten different play modes and six dream courses. Fourteen characters among them Mario, Bowser and Yoshi. Authentic fun golf for up to four players. You know me guys, I love me a four player uh, something for me and the kids to play uh, and like I said very good condition let's check the inside cartridge is there looking great I love that cartridge with Wario there in the background very cool manual has seen better days funny that the manual should be in such bad nick compared to the box so yeah very happy with Mario Golf we're going to keep this one for the collection I won't stick it up on a shelf because it's not part of Operation N64 but yeah, still very cool to have another N64 game in the collection. <clears throat> Let's get into the second one. I wonder if we can get two out of two, because I normally never have luck. If you guys have been watching the channel a while, you'll know that I never win at CEX a roulette. Um, and that's kind of, I think that might be one of the first times. Um, I think maybe I've won once before in the past with uh, Super Smash Bros, but... Um, yeah, uh, that's definitely uh, the first in a while. Radio, and that game is Turok Rage Wars. Now I picked up the last, the first one not too long ago, a couple of episodes ago. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Something about it is just it's the back of it. I don't know. Let's open it up anyway and see what. Uh, Yo, look at this. What the f no, Look at this, man. Completely come apart. Partridge is there. Manual is in pretty good nip, to be fair. It's also got a couple of these. We'll look at the box in a second. It's a little claimed booklet. But this box, man, it's just come. It's just a, it's, it's like a make it yourself, sort of build your own sort of thing. Glue flap UK version. Is this fake, man? Is this fake or is this just, just come apart? Is this someone's really bad fake attempt and it's just like they've glued it and it's just come apart? Or I don't know, man. Because, like, the box isn't terrible. You could probably flatten it out and, like, glue it back together. But this, I don't know. I don't know, man. You've seen that before? Let me know in the comments below, man, what I'm looking for. But this, 
I mean, normally, like, I look for, like, the colour and, like, the dimples, I believe, is it, on these, which you can't really make out. I don't know. And they normally say that along the light, like, along here, is always, like, it's always, like, um, what do you call it, like, scuffed or, like, white, where they've, like, bent, bent the cardboard, which isn't supposed to be, and it's just left, like, a white line all the way along all the seams. That's something else to look out for. But this doesn't seem to have that too much. Well, it does on this. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to take it back anyway, purely because it's come apart. But let me know in the comments below, guys, if, if you see anything of this that sort of tells you it's not legit. Let me show you. Normally, isn't there like little dimples here on these bits? But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you know anything about this, guys. Why this is has this? Have CDX written that, or has someone written that? Or yeah, just I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> well that was a fail. That one's gonna go back, I believe. Uh, but this is a win, so I'm happy to add this to the collection. So all in all, not too bad. That's, that's a win on CEX and a loss, but one out of two isn't too bad. Um, hopefully next week, I'm going to get up to Cardiff. I want to hit Super Tomato, see if they have any of these games off the list. And obviously anywhere else in Cardiff, they might have retro games. Hit the CEX shop as well. That is what I want to do next week, if I can. Hopefully I will finish this job I started and I can uh, freeze up my time so I can go up there. Uh, that's what I want to do. Maybe head to Newport and sort of spend the whole day uh, you know, hunting for stuff to try and sell a trade and looking for one of these, at least. That's what I want to do. I hope I can get around to doing it. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, as always, let me know by smashing that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, be rad, stay rad. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.